careless souls. Careless souls. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 22 says, Abstain from all appearance of evil. This word is very precise and simple to understand. The word is refrain, is flee, is abstain at every glance of evil with no exception. You said, I am rooted. Oh, I cannot be moved. What a careless soul you are. You are toying with your life. You are toying with your soul and eternity. Walk out your salvation with fear and trembling every second. Take every step with eternity in mind and take heed in everything you want to do. You said God just deliver you from sin of fornication and adultery but you are sin within. I must help my ex sinful partner to know the truth. And you went to meet your ex partner. You are discussing with him or her in the dark. What a careless soul you are. You will soon go back to your vomit. The word is flee. Is flee all appearance of evil. You are a bibiter. You are a gossiper. And you saw people gossiping, slandering, libeling someone. And you know within, this is your waking point Satan has been using to trap you. But yet, you give in to your flesh to join them, rather than to dust your slippers and flee. What a careless soul you are. Unbelievers gather together and they start speaking about dirty sexual words. And you take a seat with them. What a careless soul you are. Satan is loving, for he will make you to fall soon. Your friends give you a wine and say to you, it has a very low alcoholic content. So you take it. What a careless soul you are. You saw porn on your friend's phone. And instead of you to return the phone back to him or her with immediate effect, you say, Ah, what is this? What a careless soul you have. Are you a careless soul person? Are you a careless soul Christian? Are you a careless soul believer? Why not be careful at this time? Why not having relationship with Christ? And live for him. Because it is only those that live for Christ here on earth 
that will continue to live with him in eternity. If you fail to live with him here, you have no eternity with him. May God help you. Amen.